then people shouldn't care about me. Because for me, it's about the principle, and you're being dragged along to, 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 be, to put pressure on me to make some kind of deal, which is what they always did. And then I had to suck shit and take some deal, admitting guilt to something I don't believe is wrong. We need martyrs. We need heroes. You know, black people have Malcolm X and Marcus Garvey and, and Martin Luther King, and they were all killed under tragic circumstances. So on one hand, personally, yes, it wasn't so good for them. They got killed. But for the movements that they represented was incredible. I would prefer, of course, to stay amongst my beloved friends and my cannabis culture, but whatever it takes, the ultimate goal is to legalize marijuana, set an example for the world, set an example for the United States, and stop being a satellite satrapy, a puppet state of the Bush administration. We have nothing to learn from America. Emery doesn't look forward to a U.S. prison cell, of course. But after decades of fighting, I honestly think he would be disappointed if he didn't get the chance to martyr himself for the cause. I think the average person in North America can't name one person in jail for pot. No, they probably can't. But if I were in what jail, that that everybody would know one person who shouldn't be there who's in jail for pot. Well, so what? We know a lot of people that well, shouldn't be in I jail I think that's for an important representation. Once he's over there, guilty plea, contested trial, whatever, I know how the Americans play ball and they will be looking for the maximum they can get, and I believe they'll be looking for life. I just think it's stupid for him to want to make a one fifteen minute of fame fuss by going to jail and saying, oh, I got a bad sentence, oh, I'm going to America, oh, it's not fair. Quiet. End of story. It won't be 15 End seconds. End of story. Yes, it won't be. Yes, Once he's across that line, I don't know. I mean, they're not going to execute him. But life would be pretty brutal. It's not going to accomplish anything by going to the States. Ian Donaldson tells me this. The story is hot for one day. Within a week, it's cooler. Within a year, it's ancient news. The only thing you can do is save yourself so you can keep working to change it so it won't happen again to anyone else. Well, there's a good argument there. Exactly. They'll bury him so deep, they'll be sending him sunshine in a tin can. It's selfish for you to want to go <laughs> languish in jail and pout and hope that people get angry enough to change the government's decision, which they won't. It's impossible. Ian I'm told not... me as much. You're not sure? You don't even know what the strategy is, Mark. You're, you're being uh, ridiculous. It's nice to know you love me. No, you're being ridiculous. <laughs> so that's my big plan. If I don't die in jail, I'm going to come back to triumph and they're going to elect me justice minister. And then I'll make pot legal and it'll be like a fairy tale ending. Either one's a fairy tale ending. If I die in jail or get murdered or something like that, that's good too. I got the reef of blues. 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 I got no friends cause I got no butt. Just shake, baby, shake. Shake, baby, shake. Shake, baby, shake. shake, baby, shake. The Prince of Wales is wealth and fame. Great big ears and a big long name. But I'm a Camry. He's the prince of pot. He's the prince of pot. He's the prince of pot. Not shy, he's not. He gives it all he's got. He's the prince of pot. 